All right, this will be for the con assignment shift functions. So we'll just do some notes first. Okay, let's say you have a function uh, f of x. Okay. Now, if you add or subtract inside the parentheses, um, that will shift the function left or right. So just as an example, <clears throat> f of x plus 3, that shifts the function <clears throat> to the left 3 units. Okay, I know most of the time we think of positive going to the right, but it's the opposite for the x-coordinate. And for example, let's say you did f of x minus 2. That will shift the function to the right 2 units. Okay. So if you add or subtract inside the parentheses, um, that'll shift it left or right. Okay. Now, let's say you add to the whole thing itself, the whole function. Like, let's say you do f of x plus 5, okay? That will shift it up 5 units. All right. And let's say you subtracted uh, 7 from f of x. That would shift it down 7 units. All right. So when you add or subtract... outside the parentheses it shifts up or down okay um so that's basically it there might not always be parentheses. Uh, like, let's say you have, um, if you have, if you have f of x equals the square root of x plus 2, right? There's no parentheses there. But, like, uh, let's say you took that and you added... You added 3 to that inside the square root. So you made it radical x plus 5. Okay, that's basically like adding 3 inside the parentheses. And remember, inside the parentheses, when you add, it shifts left. So this would make it shift left. Three units. All right. However, let's say you kept the radical x plus two. And you subtracted three. Okay. That's like doing it. That's like subtracting outside the parentheses. 
and this would make it shift down three. Okay, so there's not always going to be um, parentheses, as you will see on these problems. Okay, so here we go, shift functions. The graph of h of x is a transformation of the graph of y equals g of x. All right, so the purple here is the original, the blue is the transformation. Given that g of x is negative, Parentheses, x minus 1 cubed, write an expression for h of x in terms of x. All right. So let's see. It says g of x is negative x minus 1 cubed. All right. And we want to write an expression for h of x. So let's see h of x in relation to g of x. Let's do the left-right part first. All right, we have a point here, and for h of x, it shifts 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so h of, s, h of x, it went left 6. Okay, did it go up or down at all? No, it did not, okay? It just moved to the left. It didn't go up or down at all. So since it went left 6, that means you add 6 inside the parentheses. Okay, again, even though we think of left as negative, it's the opposite for the, for the left-right part. So when you go left 6, you have to add 6 inside the parentheses. So in here, we're just going to do a plus 6. All right, we keep everything else. So it's negative parentheses, and instead of x minus 1, it's going to be x, and 6 minus 1 is 5. So it's going to be x plus 5, and it's still cubed. Okay, nothing else changed. So that goes in the box. Negative x plus 5 cubed. All right, negative parentheses, x plus 5 cubed. All right, there's a, there's a box for the exponent there. All right, almost the same thing here. Write a formula for function f in terms of g. All right, so g was the original. G was the original, and it's just G of X. So F of X, the new one, we want to write it in terms of G. <clears throat> so what happened to F? Well, it didn't go up, down at all, okay? They just moved it over. So let's see how many. We'll start here, and we'll go here. We don't even have to count. We can just add. This is negative 6 right here. And this is 3 right here. So it went 6 plus 3. It went to the right 9 units. Okay. It went to the right 9 units. That means... You subtract 9 inside the parentheses. Okay, remember right, left, it's opposite. Okay, so right is actually negative. So we, we want to write f of x in terms of g of x. So instead of g of x, we're going to do g of x minus 9. And that's it. F of X is going to be G of X minus 9. G of X minus 
All right, let's see here. Okay, so here they say the graph of the function g of x equals negative absolute value of x is shown on the grid below. Graph the function h of x in the interactive graph. Okay, so the one with the dots on it are, is the one that we're going to move. All right. So obviously the blue one is the one we're going to move and the gray one is fixed. That's y equals g of x. So what did they do to the function g of x? Well, inside the parentheses or the absolute value, same thing. They added two, okay? So that means we're going to have to shift left two units, okay? Again, right left is opposite. When you add inside the parentheses, it goes left, okay? And they also did plus three. So we're going to have to shift it up three. Okay, the two is inside the parentheses or absolute value, and the three is outside. All right, so let's do that. I think we should match this graph first, match what they have first. All right, and we want to shift it left two. Okay, one, two, and apparently you have to move this dot. One, two, to keep it lined up. Okay, you want to keep it the same as the other graph. We just shift it left two and then up three. So take this one and go up one, two, three. Okay, and you got to do the other one too to keep it matched. One, two, three. Okay, so see it's the same graph. It's just shifted left two and up three. All right, let's see what we got here. The graph of y equals x squared is shown below. Which of the following is the graph of y equals x plus 5 squared minus 3? Okay. So they did plus 5 inside the parentheses. We started with x squared, and it's the same as if it were like this, y equals x squared, right? So when you add or subtract inside the parentheses, it goes left, right. Since they did plus five, it's going to go left five. All right. And since they did minus three outside the parentheses, it's going to go down three. All right, so we're going to have to find the same graph, but it goes left 5. So here's the vertex at 0, 0. It goes left 5 to the negative 5 and then goes down 3. So it's going to be at negative 5, negative 3. Okay, and it's going to be the same graph. Just shift it. Okay, it should be the same graph as this. All right, so let's see if we can find it. It should be at negative 5, negative 3 for the vertex, which is the minimum or maximum point. It's not here. It's not here. How about this one? Negative 5, negative 7? No. How about this one? Negative 5, negative 3. That's it. Answer D.